Hello and welcome back to Affinity for Games. In this particular per tutorial, what we're going to be covering is how to add ROMs to the RetroPie. So it's actually very simple to do. Um, all that you're going to need to do is actually turn your Raspberry Pi on, make sure that it's all booted up and everything and connected to your network. Once it is, you're going to go over to your Windows computer, Mac computer, whatever it may be, and um, then you're just going to open the My Computer folder, folder if it's a Windows computer. Then you're just going to navigate up to the address bar, and you're going to type in backslash backslash, and whatever the IP address of your Raspberry Pi is. And in this case, uh, I've already done so, so I'll just go ahead and hit Enter. So once you type that in and press Enter, this screen should appear for you, the little ROMs folder. You can just double click on it. Then you're going to need to have some ROMs to actually put on the machine itself. Now, these particular ROMs, they should be games that you do actually own, and they should be ROMs that you actually created yourself. Mm -hmm. So for in this tutorial, what I have is some PlayStation games. So what we're going to do is click on the PSX folder. That's going to stand for PlayStation. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy these two particular ROMs that I have over here. And I'm just going to drag them into the actual window itself. Uh, now this is going to take a little bit of time depending on the size of the actual game. Now the games that I did add were PlayStation games. You can add anything from N64 and television, Atari, things of that nature to the RetroPie. Uh, it's all going to be the same exact process as long as you have those ROMs and everything. Um, now, one thing to consider is that the PlayStation and the N64, they are more powerful machines for their time, and the RetroPie, it doesn't easily play those games as the base RetroPie itself. So what you would actually have to do is overclock the system, and you're going to need a couple of heat sinks in order to do so. Actually, you're going to need three. You're going to need them for the north and south bridge, along with the processor itself, uh, you can get either aluminum or copper heat sinks. Amazon sells them really cheaply. They're about $5, and they have double stick tape, so they just stick right to the top of it, and they act really great, and then you can overclock it, and you can play those games. Otherwise, things like uh, Sukaden, uh, which is a fantastic RPG, it will play. It'll play really well for the most part, but whenever like the cutscenes and other stuff pop up, it's not going to play as well. It's going to be pretty laggy. And then other games that are more powerful, that have better graphics and stuff to them, you're definitely going to see a lot of lag. So you're going to have to overclock it, and we'll talk about that in a future video on how to actually do it. So I will also go ahead and show you how to put ROMs onto uh, the Raspberry Pi through the uh, Raspbian Wheezy GUI interface as well. And you can see that Soul Reaver has already popped up right there. And we'll just let this process continue until it's finished. Okay, so in order for you to actually put ROMs onto your RetroPie, what you're going to need is your actual IP address. Uh, for you to get that in Linux, you can get that in a variety of different ways. So let's go ahead and log in here. Might help if I click on the screen. And your default login is going to be pi for the name, and the password is just going to be raspberry, all in lowercase. So what we can do then is type if config and hit enter. And then right where it says ethernet 0, eth 0, over to the right of it, there's a link in cap, and right below that, there's the INET address. And the INET address is what you're going to want to write down and remember. So make sure that you store that, and that way you can type it into the uh, My Computer folder in the future. Okay, so the other way that you can obtain your IP address is whenever you first initially turn the Raspberry Pi on and is actually in terminal mode. It should have this particular section right here. And you can see that that's the IP address in this section. 
So you can just record that. Now, if you have it automatically booting into Emulation Station, you're going to have to press Function Key 4, and it's going to take you back into the terminal here, and then you can see this particular uh, IP address. That's everything that you need to know on how to actually um, obtain the IP address for the RetroPie and how to actually add ROMs to the device itself. Um, if you're actually in the terminal, I forgot to mention that you can just type emulation station all in lowercase because Linux is case sensitive and uh, just press enter and that'll take you back into the emulation station itself so that you can play some games if you didn't know that command. Uh, so make sure that you check out the other videos if you went ahead and skipped ahead and found this one first on how to actually configure the uh, RetroPie and I'll be continuing with this series very shortly. Alright, thank you and you have a great day.